Hi guys, welcome to my perfume channel. My name is Melanie and today we're going to be talking about my top 10 perfumes for life. I thought this would be a good introduction to get to know my tastes and some of my favorite fragrances. I had a hard time choosing these scents, but these are the ones that I love and think I'll have in my collection forever. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really appreciate you being here today. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of content, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's get started. These perfumes are the ones that I couldn't live without, although as you'll see, some of them have been discontinued. But don't worry, you can find them on the secondary market, which is probably what I'll do when I run out. Okay, in no particular order, here we go. The first one is Baby Cat by Yves Saint Laurent. This one came out in 2022. The perfumer is Dominique Ropion. He's the OG. Mr. Ropion has created hundreds of perfumes, but some of my favorites include Fred Ogmal's Portrait of a Lady, Lalique's Le Parfum, Lugler's Alien, Navitus's Raised Spirits, Paco Rabanne's Olympia, and Victor and Rolf's Flower Bomb. Not too shabby. The reason why I want to keep this in my collection forever because it's such a warm, cozy scent. Let's take a sniff. So there are spicy, peppery notes at the top. According to Fragrantica, it includes both black and pink pepper. There is saffron and vanilla in here, and that is what's making it sweet. But the best part of the fragrance is the smokiness. You'll see later on, I love smoky fragrances. I think the smokiness in this is coming from the resins. There's also suede and cedar in the base. <laughs> Baby Cat also lasts a long time on my skin, about, about eight hours, and it dries down to a very sweet vanilla. I find the project, projection to be moderate on this one. I know that Baby Cat isn't sold in the States, but you can buy it from some resellers on eBay and Mercari. I'm actually not sure if it's been discontinued, and I don't know that anyone knows, except for Yves Saint Laurent. Used to be able to buy it at Selfridges, but it hasn't been available on their website in a very long time. I definitely recommend that you sample this one first. It has a very strong incense note that some people find off-putting. I bought my sample at Sense Event. I will link that down below so that you can check it out. I will say if you're interested in something similar, to Baby Cat. Mr. Ropion created a fragrance in 2021 that is very similar. It's by Laboratorio Olfativo and it's called Vanagloria. It has some of the same incense vanilla notes and it's actually quite enjoyable. That was Baby Cat by Yves Saint Laurent. The next perfume on my 10 for life is Herba Pura by Zerjoff. I know this is a controversial one and people either love it or hate it. And if they hate it, they really hate it. I happen to really love it. Um, it was released in 2019, created by Christian Carmenel and Laura Santander. Christian Carmenel is a master perfumer and has created fragrances for the likes of Fragrance Dubois, Cajal, Navitus, and Zoologist. Laura Santander has created other fragrances for Zerjoff as well as for Roberto Ugolini, as well as Suspiro. Herba Pura is very strong, so I can see why people are passionate about this fragrance. I feel like there are lots of citruses in the opening. There are lots and lots of fruit notes. Um, actually, the middle notes on Fragrantica just say fruit notes, <laughs> which isn't super helpful. Um, I would translate that to orange, mango, and currants. It does dry down to quite a lovely musk on my skin and it will last forever on you. I think that's why when people hate it, they really hate it because they can't get rid of it. It has quite strong projection as well, so I would recommend not spraying too much. You're gonna choke everyone out if you do. I also wouldn't recommend blind, buy blind buying this one either because it's so controversial whether you love or hate this one. Also, Zerjoff isn't known for having inexpensive fragrances, so it's not a cheap one. 
Um, I'm not saying that you can't wear this in the summertime, but I would say uh, maybe focus on evenings and winter because it is so strong. And that was Zerzhoff's Herba Pura. Next is Tom Ford's Black Orchid. This is another love or hate, am I right? Um, I've actually loved this since I smelled it in a magazine sample when it was released in 2006. I still remember pulling out that paper sample from the magazine and smelling it and just immediately falling in love. Do you remember magazine samples? <laughs> Do you remember magazines, actually? No one actually buys real magazines anymore. The perfumers for this one are David Appel and Pierre Negrin. They've separately and together created scents for Bond Number no. 9, Joe Malone, Mind Games, Amouage, and Ralph Lauren. There are so many notes on this one, but I feel like you can make out something floral as well as some spiciness. The patchouli, vanilla, and incense come out as well. There's awful, also truffle, lotus, and chocolate. I actually think this is a perfect date night scent, and I love wearing it on cooler evenings. Tom Ford's Black Orchid. So far, these have been fairly heavy scents, so let's move on to something lighter. This is Bergamo Calabria by Guerlain's Aqua Allegoria line. This was created in 2017 by Terry Wasser and Delphine Joke. Terry has been the perfumer at Guerlain for quite a long time. He's actually known for creating Mont Guerlain and the Petite Robe Noir series. Delphine has created other fragrances for Guerlain as well. This scent is so fresh and light. It opens with citruses, and I feel like you can smell the ginger as well. There's also cardamom in the mid and white musk in the base. It doesn't last very long, but it's so refreshing that in the heat, I really enjoy wearing this one. It's very sweet and really a compliment getter. I actually went to the mall a couple weeks ago wearing this and received a compliment from someone in one of the stores. That's Bergamot Calabria from Guerlain's Aqua Allegoria line. Up next is a perfume that was my signature scent for many, many years. I actually just bought a new bottle, which is why there isn't a den in this one, and I'm really happy to have it. There have been rumblings online that this was being discontinued, but I will tell you that I bought this directly from the Hannah Mori site. And this is, of course, Hannah Mori by Hannah Mori. Some people call this Butterfly, it's not technically the name of the perfume. It is just a self-titled Hannah Mori perfume. Hannah Mori was created in 1996 by Bernard Elena. He's actually created fragrances for Amouage, Creed, Givenchy, and Van Cleef on Arpels. This is super fruity, similar to Herba Pura in that there are a lot of fruits in this one, but that's where the similarities with Herba Pura end. This one is incredibly light and refreshing. Great as a signature scent, I should know. It has lots of berries and light florals that dry down to woody notes. It actually lasts all day on me, which is probably why I had it as a signature scent. This is Hannah Mori by Hannah Mori. Okay, so this one is technically not produced anymore. You can sometimes find it on Macari or eBay for a good deal. This is Omni Scent by Yersh. This also was my signature scent for several years. I just love this one. It was released in 2010 and the perfumer is Yosh Han. Yosh actually has her own line called Yosh and there are a couple of other fragrances in that line that I do quite enjoy that are still being sold. One is called Ginger Chow and the other is called Euphoria. So Omni Scent is a very powdery, spicy floral. It has top notes that include white and purple flowers, cannabis, and fig. There are cloves and geranium in the heart, as well as some fruity notes, and the dry down is a woody vanilla. I feel like this is a fragrance that you can wear anytime. As I mentioned, it was my signature scent for quite a while. I'm really sad this was discontinued. It is a really great scent. And this is Omni Scent by Yosh. The next fragrance is marketed towards men, but I find it suits me quite well. 
It's called Herod by Parfum de Marly. It was launched in 2012 and created by Olivier Pachot. R.I.P. Olivier. Olivier passed away, unfortunately, in July of this year. Some of the brands he worked with include Diptyque, Ex Nihilo, Fragrance Dubois, H&M, Mont Blanc, Moschino, and Paco Rabanne. I do just adore this scent. It's very cozy and very sweet. It opens with cinnamon and pepper, but there's also tobacco, incense, and musk and vanilla. The osmanthus is adding some fruity notes as well. I think Herod has moderate performance and lasts about six hours, at least on me. The projection is just okay, but I really don't mind it being a skin scent because it's such a beautiful fragrance. That was Herod by Parfum de Marly. Here's another one that's good for spring and summer, and I don't hear people talk about this on YouTube actually at all. This is 28 Degrees by Orme. It was released in 2018, but there isn't a perfumer listed. The opening is very citrusy and you can smell a mix of white flowers. It has vanilla and immortel in the base, which sweetens it up. While it is very sweet, it's not cloying at all. I love this one in the summer. I always get compliments when I wear it. I think this could also be a signature scent because it's not super strong, but it does get compliments. It has a distinctive smell, so you're not going to smell like everybody else. That's 28 Degrees by Orme. Okay, just two more to go. Back to the smoky notes that I love so much. This is By the Fireplace by Maison Margiela's Replica Line. Marie Salomon created this one in 2015. She's created over 100 fragrances, actually, including Lune Feline by Atelier des Or, Ruby Rouge by Christian Louboutin, Mandarin Basilic by Guerlain, Alien Goddess by Mugler, and Black Opium by Yves Saint Laurent. You probably smell this one, but it's like you're at a campsite roasting marshmallows. It's super smoky and very, very sweet. There are cloves and pink pepper in the top, guy wood and juniper in the mid, and vanilla, vanilla and cashmere in the base. I really do love this one. It dries down to such a sweet vanilla on me and it lasts about eight hours. It has moderate projection, and I recommend wearing this one in the fall and winter. Although no shame in wearing it in the summer, I do that occasionally myself. This is By the Fireplace by Maison Margiela's Replica Line. So I've saved the best one for last. I got this last month and I have fallen really hard. This is Gourmand Coquin by Guerlain from their Elixir Charnel line. This was created in 2008 by perfumers Christine Nagel and Sylvain Delacorte. Christine Nagel is the in-house perfumer for Hermes. She's also created Eau de Cartier, Miss Dior Cherie, Dolce & Gabbana's The One, Giorgio Armani, Giorgio Armani C, and many Jo Malone fragrances. Sylvain Delacorte has created other Guerlain fragrances as well, and also has her own self-titled range of perfumes. So this is my scent of the day. And I feel like the first thing that you get is the smokiness, which I clearly love. I mean, half of these fragrances have had some kind of smoky or incensey note. But this one also has chocolate, rum, and vanilla, which makes it super yummy. I think this scent is absolutely intoxicating. This would make a great date night fragrance because you could mesmerize your date into submission. I find this lasts on me about 12 hours with moderate sillage. And a question I hear a lot online is how do you buy a gourmand coquin? Well, you have to go to the Place Vendome website and fill out a web form. Once they have it in stock, they will email you with a link for payment. It's actually quite easy. It sounds complicated, but it's really not. Um, they provide you with tons of samples and all kinds of goodies in your package for purchasing this fragrance. 
it's a little on the pricey side. It was around 350 euro, but well worth it for 125 mil, as well as all of the extras that came with it. I'll put a link in the description below so that you can find the website where you can actually purchase this fragrance. And this is Gourmand Coquin by Guerlain. Well, that was my top 10 fragrances for life. Thank you so much for watching. What did you think? Please let me know in the comments below if you have strong feelings either way or any feelings at all about this video. I would love to hear about your top 10 as well. Please share that in the comments below too. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!